Hey guys, and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith. Let's get started. All right, we've got all of our panels. You should have four things of card slots that you can see, and then one on the back that's going to be like our secret pocket. So, now what we're going to do is from this end, we're going to take our letter and put it lining to lining. This card slot is in our lining because it's going to be a secret pocket, so it is a part of our lining. We're going to put it lining to lining, and then what I like to do is we're going to match up the top corners here and the sides here, and what I do is I put a clip down here, kind of out of the way, but this is going to hold both of these panels together. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get a tool that we can mark with that either air raises or, or some way that you won't be able to see it. Um, I'm just using this pen again. I use it for basically everything. <laughs> All right, next thing we're going to do, this is actually making your pockets. Um, as you can see, there are, when you unzip the zippers, you're opening them up. This is how we're going to close those up. So I am measuring three quarters of an inch over, and I'm just doing a little bit. And then I'm going to take my ruler, and from not the top of your zipper, but this fabric right here, where the fabric meets the zipper, I'm putting my ruler down at three and three quarters. And I'm going to match up that mark I made on the side. So the three and three quarters with that three quarters right there. Three quarters. Three and three quarters. That's not going to get confusing at all. <laughs> and if you need to, you can move these clips out of the way if they're in your way. I just like to put them there so that nothing shifts or anything like that. All right. So three quarters. I've got three quarters on this side, three quarters on that side, and three and three quarters right here. You're going to connect all of these. Let me show you what they're going to look like. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's the three quarters on this side, and then three and three quarters right here, and then three quarters over here. It all connects so that we can close this up and we'll have like a little zipper pocket. So I'm going to take you to the sewing machine with me so I can show you how I do it. All right, I have got my uh, zipper foot on. You're probably going to want to put that on. I've got it on the right, so it's kind of out of the way. My machine came with a left and a right, and so I, I always, what, who am I kidding? I've always got this foot on. <laughs> I love this foot. Um, I put my foot on the right because I'm going to be starting on this side. I'm going to be sewing down, around, and back up. And with my zipper foot on the right, it'll be out of my way and I'll be able to sew with no problem. All right, next thing that we're going to do is I have changed my stitch length to a four. I have also changed my thread to a gray because I'm sewing on the gray fabric now. I am going to hold my threads in the beginning when I'm sewing so that they don't get caught up. I don't want a rat's nest on the very top. Now I'm going to go a few stitches forward. I'm going to try and see if I can get my starting thread out. Yes. And then I'm going to make a couple of back stitches. This is going to get kind of pulled on a little bit so you want to make sure that you back, back stitch when you start. Alright, now all of this, you can kind of roll it up so that it'll kind of be out of your way. Alright, now you're going to pull your threads through. And then burn your ends if you're working with, um, you know, your nylon thread or whatever. You're going to pull these through. Ugh. Burn your ends. And then we will move on to the next thing. 
All right, so we have sewn our wee little pocket. Now, when you open this up, there's a pocket. There's going to be a secret card holder. So if there's certain cards that you just kind of don't want with your everyday regular cards, you can kind of sneaky peek them in there and keep them nice and safe so they don't go anywhere. So yay. All right. Got that done. Let's get our cards out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like get this mess out of our way. We're going to go to the next one. So you've got your first zipper done. Now we're going to take this and put it lining to lining. Just kind of like this. And we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to get everything out of my way. I am going to get that out of my way. If you pull this a little bit, it'll just kind of get out of your way. Now look, look at your sides and look at the tops and make sure everything's matching up. And I'm just going to put a clip right there, just kind of hold things in place. You can always wait till you're done marking to put your clips, but I find that I just like to clip them and then I have to move them. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. So we said three quarters from the edge, three and three quarters from the top, not your zipper, but from the top where your fabric meets your zipper and then if I didn't say it before connect your lines when you're done drawing all right then we're going to have three quarters on this side and you're going to connect those all right so we're going to take this to the sewing machine I went ahead and I um I went ahead and changed the thread because both sides are red now so we're going to just stick with red thread for a little while um, and I'm going to go ahead and sew this. So we're going to start on this side, go down, around, and back up again. Alright so I've got my stitch length at a 4 again. I'm going to go a couple of stitches forward, get my thread out so it's not getting stitched when I back stitch. I want this to look nice. Pull your threads through, burn your ends, and we'll go to the next step. All right, so we have got our first panel that has our little pocket. We've got our next panel. It now is a pockets and this is another reason I told you guys to iron really good and press the fabric away from the zippers because if you don't that's going to get caught up in your zippers um, that's what's really really important to, to do every step so that it turns out right because this is a lot of work <laughs> if you skip a couple of steps and you end up having problems which really really stink all right next thing's next the next zipper we're going to take this up like this so that we're getting the next zipper with the next card slots and next panel. We're going to hold it up like this and then I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to go ahead and mark it this time before I clip it. Just to, It's going to get harder and harder to do this stuff. Alright, three and three quarters and again just pull this out of your way so that you can make the marks you need to make. Okay, and then three quarters on this side, and then three quarters on this side. You're just going to connect all three of those, which I did, and then I'm going to match up my sides so that they are together because I don't want to have my sides or my tops uneven so like right here you want to make sure that like well, it's not like that <laughs> you want to make sure that they're matched up good all right so now we're going to go to the sewing machine I'm going to sew down around and back up again all right hang on to your threads 
We're still using a four stitch length. We're back stitching. All right. Pull your threads through, burn the ends, and let's go to the very last one. All right. So we have got the front. One, two, three. Now we're going to work on our last zipper. So what you're going to do is just pick it up and put those sides together. Then I think I'm going to skip out on clipping it. Just pull that out of your way. Let's make our marks. Three and three quarters. three quarters on each side if you guys ever get stumbled on any of this just go and grab the written instructions it'll be a big help to you guys because I've been taking pictures of every single step and all of the measurements are going to be on there for you all right so I don't want to clip it like this because you see the tops aren't together, so I'm going to have to move it around a little bit. And I'm making sure that my sides are together, my tops are together. Now we're going to go back to the sewing machine, and we're going to sew uh, down, around, and back up. All right, ready to go. Hanging on to my thread. Put your threads through and burn the ends. All right. We've got the front of our wallet. A zipper, a zipper, a zipper, a zipper, and then the back part. Don't sew this back part to anything else. This is gonna be what helps us attach all of this to our main panel, um, especially the front flap and the back flap are what allow us to attach it to our wallet. I'm going to take you back to the sewing machine and now we're going to do the accordion of it all so that these things are all connected together. So let's go to the sewing machine. All right, so we have got all of this done. Now we're going to have to attach and close all of our little sides that are still open. The very first thing we're going to do is we are not going to be sewing this panel to itself. Leave it alone. <laughs> But we're going to reach through to this panel. This panel is um, the card slot top and the card slot bottom. We're connecting the card slot top, uh, card slot top with the card slot bottom is what we're doing. Hopefully that makes sense. And then you're just going to connect them at the sides like this. Now you've got this other panel that's connected. You're just going to have to kind of push it out of the way. And I'm going to clip these two together. Now what we're going to do is with a four stitch length, we're going to push all of that out of our way. We're going to be sewing at an eighth of an inch from the edge, holding on to our thread as we get started. You're going to back stitch because this is the part that's going to get a lot of pull because it's the accordion part. Now, if that part is too thick, you can always take this tool right here. It's for key fobs, um, but I use it whenever I get some material that's just too thick for me to sew over. I'll take this and then just kind of like pinch it and it actually kind of like thins it out for me. So if, if that part gets too thick, then you can always do that. All right, so you're going to pick a side, make your thread come through. I am going to burn it. Where is my lighter? Now on the purse, I did all one side at a time and then turned around and did the other side. And 
through trial and error, I found that doing the opposite side, so you've got this side right here done, I'm going to go to the opposite side. So I'm going to turn this over. So you're doing the card slot top and bottom together, and we're going to kind of push that front letter out of the way, and we're going to push the next um, front card slot, bottom card slot, out of the way. Well, okay then. <laughs> All right, when you go to sew it, this side is going to be my open side. I can see my open seams right there. We're going to make sure that we're sewing at an eighth of an inch and that will close it up. But we got to make sure that all of these other panels are out of the way. I'm going pretty far down when I'm uh, back stitching. I'm going pretty far down and then back stitching because that part right there, like I said, is going to get a lot of wear and tear. And you don't want that to come undone because that would stink. So now you've got your seam is nice and closed. You don't have to worry about it popping open or leaving it open like that. And we're just going to burn our threads. And then you're just going to do all of your card slot tops and bottoms. That's basically what you're doing. You're making the card slot tops and bottoms connect on these sides. All right. So we've got our one card slot top and bottom connected. And that makes our slip pocket. Now we're going to grab the next one. All right. So this is the next card slot bottom and card slot top. We're going to connect those two and watch out for your zippers. You may want to take them and kind of move them to the middle of your zipper pouch just so that your zippers are out of the way. Um, I haven't ran into any, knock on wood, so hopefully I won't run into any of them, but you never know. So I'm just, I've moved all of them to the center. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm taking all of this, the front panel, the second panel we just sewed together, I'm moving them out of the way, and then the one that's on top, I'm moving that out of the way. You do not want to sew these panels all together. It would get thick and really hard to sew. So, don't do that. Now I'm just pulling my thread through, if it'll let me. And yet again, I've closed up another um, one of the holes that were on the sides that we left open for turning. I just closed that up, so I don't have to worry about that. And this is how we're closing them up. I know it seemed weird to leave them open. I knew it did. <laughs> I was just like, they'll get it. They'll get it. It's just one of them things you just kind of have to get through the process to figure out how to do everything and that's the only way in my mind that I could perceive how to do it for you guys so that's what we did all right now we did we did this side now we got to do this side so we're just going to kind of the next panel and the next one we're going to connect those two making sure that at the top they're meeting up and at the sides they're meeting up and you're going to have to move all of this stuff. This next panel, you're going to have to move all of that out of your way. The top panels, all of that out of your way. All right. And we're going to go to the next one. So you've got your card slot top, card slot bottom. We're matching those two up. And you're going to have to move this back panel out of the way. Okay. Okay. Now we've done this side, 
you see our accordion coming together all right we've done that side now we got to do this side and connect those together Also go back and just make sure that whichever side is open, you should be able to tell from one of the sides, um, whichever side is open, make sure that all of these are getting closed because you don't want those popping open. For the very back ones, I found I have to kind of turn it around to get it to do like I want it to. Just however you can do it, do it that way. That is going to be the last one that we do. Your bag should look like this. You should have the front and the back. You're going to have a flap here and then your front and back flap there. The rest of these should all be connected. So you should have three and then this open that is so that we can put this in our um, on our main bag panel uh, we're going to be sewing just like we did with the other ones uh, three quarters of an inch over and that's how we attach it so let me finish cutting uh, fixing the strings and then we will work on the main bag panel now <laughs> 